Hey Star Wars fans and action movie collectors, welcome back to another vintage collection review. Just picked this one up today after I just sort of I left it for a couple of weeks. I knew it wasn't going to go anywhere in a big hurry. Um, a lot of them around at the moment from this wave, um, but yeah, definitely one I wanted to pick up. I really love the original Anakin that came out in the Black Series uh, three and three quarter inch wave in 2013, I think, or early 2014. Um, so to get a re-release on a vintage card is something I've been asking for for a very long time. Um, so yeah, really nice to see Padawan Anakin as sort of, you know, a main character of Attack of the Clones, finally on a vintage card. Um, for some reason that peasant disguise was out way before this, this should have been, you know, on the cards a long time ago. Um, he is VC244. I have now reviewed all these figures except for the 332nd, um, which is one I'm going to pass on anyway. So, really liking this Anakin. Um, you know, when this figure came out originally in 2013, it was originally planned to be in the vintage collection uh, before they decided to switch over and go the Black Series route. Um, and yeah, it was going to it was going to um, go along with the. 3D release of Attack of the Clones, which was still uh, planned at the time, so that was uh, that was cool. So yeah, fast forward nearly nearly ten years, and uh, we have this Anakin on a vintage card. Um, really, really nice. Uh, the inclusion of the the robes, the cape, um, is really cool. Looking forward to seeing it in person, um, being able to open that up and have a look. Uh, yeah, nice lightsaber hilt, lightsaber, his mechanical hand. And yeah, a nice nice sort of Photoshop touched up image on the back of Anakin. Um, yeah, I think he's uh, multiple images put together. Um, Cause that one looks sort of like out of Tatooine on the Tuscan camp with the tent in the background, but the, the, the face looks like another part of the movie. So let's just go, go straight ahead and take it out and we'll have a look at this figure that's going to be awesome. I know it. You know, it's uh, looks really nice with the uh, photo reel up upgrades. And this tape they're using at the moment on the vintage stuff is really, 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 really tough. So there we go. And get out of the packaging. So I'm going to zoom in and. Uh, with a head sculpt, which looks really, really nice. Yeah, it's the same head sculpt, it's just had the photo reel treatment on it now, which is which is equally as nice. And, uh, you know, I really, the fact that I still really, really love the original Anakin, um, he can now find a home in his speeder, which I got a little bit, a little while before my, I had to pack up my collection earlier in the year, so I do have that one ready to go. Um, and this one can go in the Geonosian Arena when it gets set up again. So yeah, we have the, the hilt sort of pegged to the belt there. It looks really nice. Fits nice and snug, nice and tight. We also have his lit blade. Which will fit in his hand nice and tightly. If they wanted to do something different with this, it would have been cool, you know, give him a couple of lightsabers, give him a, a blue and a green, and, you know, have him as a Anakin dueling Dooku. Um, the thing I do like is the inclusion of the mechanical hand, even though you only see it for a brief moment at the end of the movie. Um, it's, it's definitely a cool sort of addition. You can, you know, play out a little bit of expanded universe stuff. And the fact that he does have his robe here means you can sort of recreate the the wedding scene where they're where they're holding hands and having a little smoochy smooch. <laughs> so yeah, let's have a look at the robes. Just adjust a little bit. There we go. So yeah, just gonna we got the long sort of flappy bits on the front. Yeah, it takes a little bit to get this sort of sitting right. You know, it's it's it is such a small little piece of fabric. Um, I, I'm going to give him praise for for giving it a shot. 
um, if you manage to find a way to sort of pose it on there and make it look like the robe sort of coming around, I don't know. I don't know. It's a bit of a strange one. It is a strange one, but I'm not going to complain about it. It's a, it's a nice inclusion. So you see just the string sort of tied around the neck there, which you can easily pop off the head to take off. So yeah, it's still still one of the older ball and socket joints. Other people have sort of, you know, in the past I've done it with Tuscan Raider robes and stuff like that. Is you, you just rinse it underwater, and then you put it on the figure while it's sort of wet and heavy, and then just sort of leave it to dry and get it to sort of sit the way you want it to. Um, but yeah, you do that string up a little bit tighter, and it would probably. Okay. Again, yeah, probably probably not going to display him with this. I might use the robe on a an older Anakin. Um, you know, one of the sort of quite older 2002, 2003 Anakins. Um, just to add that sort of robe to the scene. And, you know, I've got, you know, an, an Anakin on, an, on Tatooine with the sort of Tatooine figures um, from Attack of the Clones. But... Um, yeah, this this is uh, yeah a really nice release. Um, love to get a uh, a new episode three Anakin. I think that would be fantastic. They did do the quote unquote Darth Vader from very early in the vintage collection back in twenty ten. Um, but yeah, we haven't seen a, a really good Revenge of the Sith Anakin since. But this one looks really really nice. Unfortunately, I don't have the other one at hand to sort of compare colours, but I, I dare say they're pretty similar. I don't think there's much, much difference in terms of the colours of the of the browns on the on the, on his robes. Um, yeah, I don't think there'd be too much difference there. It's mainly just the face um, where they've been able to give him the the sort of nice photo apps, photo real paint apps there, which is good, and of course the the robe, which looks like it will just sort of fit over his head anyway just sits over the, oh, you can get the uh, Padawan braid underneath. So it's just that, you know, that slight little issue with, you know, all the bunched up fabric around all the seam lines and stuff that, you know, just really makes soft goods for these sort of scale figures really hard. But, you know, still appreciate the effort, like, cause it, if you can get it posed right, it'll look good. Just have a little bit of two-sided tape under each side and put it on the put it on the chest of the figure. Something like that. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Please sound out in the comments below. I appreciate you hanging around and checking out this one. Um, yeah, this is one I've definitely been looking forward to. Unfortunately, didn't feel the same way about the uh, the Attack of the Clones Obi One that got the redo. I uh, yeah wasn't really digging that at all. But this one, awesome. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Stay tuned. I've got, a, got some more Marvel figures coming right up. So, uh, yeah, hope you hope you hang out for them and hope you're enjoying that sort of content. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. May the Force be with you always.